Furious Harry caught being kicked out of a ward's VIP seat by event staff. You must sit at table 115. The weekend was rather busy for Harry, but he seems to have been ditched by Meghan as he was left to fly solo at the Living Legends of Aviation Awards. And this was just after he dropped his defamation case against a l Cameras at the event caught Harry throwing a tantrum at a lady about his seating. According to the video, Harry looks pissed off in front of a dinner table and asks the lady, I have to sit here in a disgusted voice? He even pointed to the chair and from his slightly raised eyebrows and body language, he was asking a question. Harry forced to sit at table 115, although he thought he got a VIP seat. Harry can't afford a VIP table, but he also didn't appear to have been invited to any either. As an organiser showed him to table 115, at the back which looked like an organiser or sponsor table. If you bought the most expensive tickets and asked to sit with friends with cheap tickets, the value of the table went down and you went down with it. The video clip showed him in disbelief asking if this is where he's going to sit. This is what he's married into, being reduced to having to sit for free at the organiser's table. Surely Archwell could have coughed up for a VIP table and filled it with Archwell staff as an end of the year bonus treat. That's if they have staff left. Harry didn't realise as an honoree, he still had to buy a ticket or a table, hence his seat at an empty back table. Harry may be able to buy an award, but good seating doesn't come with it, especially when no one has any respect for him. Stolen Valor gets him a dinner table next to the exit to the toilets. Must be a huge blow to his ego that everyone's going about their business and not being overwhelmed by his presence. Harry grew up as a super VIP, everyone fawning over him and making arrangements so that he was always front and centre just for being a prince and the son of the future king, during a Majesty the Queen's time. He took it for granted and thought his life would always be this way. He's entitled and arrogant, so table 115 must have been a huge blow to his ego. Many people commented to humiliate Harry for his seat. One wrote, back door, back of the hall found his position in life, collecting paid awards for bogus accomplishments. Table 115, this is what you get for being a skinflint. Second one said, wow, nowhere near the stage at all, but definitely way, way out. I don't see John Travolta or Kurt Russell at the table. Harry's out there in the hinterlands with ordinary people. I'm really a little surprised as he was an awardee. Stolen valour and no pilot's licence. In the back is exactly where phony Harry and his shiny bald head deserved to be. What an embarrassment to even show up, the third added. The fourth wondered, It is strange for someone who received top billing on the event's website and allegedly paid $30,000 for the award.